Okay, I'm not sure if you believe me or not, but it's actually 1.47 in the morning when I'm filming this. I just finished my hair. Wash day is always a process, but that's okay. It is freshly done. It feels great. It feels amazing. And I'm still running off of that energy. So I figured why not just go ahead and film the rest of the video for you all. So I had my second Fear of God Essentials knit hoodie arrive. Now you guys know I'm already on cloud nine off of having uh, at least one in my collection, but I now have two. I'm working on a third, so just bear with me here. I'm pretty excited about that. But this was another pickup off Essence from the January 15th drop by Jerry Lorenzo. So let's dive right in because this is a small, so you guys will actually be able to see a sizing uh, comparison on myself between a small and a medium. Let's get started. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still finish and I won What's up everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Shoes Chains. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. When you are viewing this, if you're brand new, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, be sure to comment down below. Uh, I love you guys engaging on the last video for the cream knit hoodie that I picked up as well off Essence. Uh, a lot of engagement on that video. So thank you all. I love knowing what you all picked, you know, what you guys picked up, how you like it, uh, did sizing work out for you? What's your, what are your thoughts on this piece? And a lot of you have nothing but rave reviews about the knit hoodie some of you are saying hey like you're actually convincing me to go pick this up now after seeing either my excitement or just seeing my video maybe how to style it how it fits how it falls on you as a person and you know what i'm excited about that this is a great piece i think it's worth the hundred dollar retail price and then i think if you have to pay resale for it, just a little bit over nothing wrong with that um i think i've like shared on here before the locust and wild honey group that's on facebook that's ran by paul who is of course the face of locust and wild honey the youtube channel here uh you all you guys can actually join or request to join that group and there are a lot of individuals that have these pieces in and they may be selling them for 130 or 140 um, um, and then you pay shipping. So I don't think that's that bad at all. Absolutely worth it. So uh, I won't make this a long one, but yes, I picked up two of the knit hoodies off Essence. Remember, PacSun was just not like really good to me um, at all. And you all <laughs> made sure to second that. PacSun was not a good option for us to try and buy anything at all <laughs> that day. So Essence coming through from the For the Win. And there are still some pieces up there right now uh, if you're interested in buying those. But I wanted to get at least one of the knit hoodies. And again, like right now I'm rocking the crew neck. This is the black crew neck. And this is actually a small, and that video is up here. Um, you could just click on the Fear of God playlist. It's in the description box and you guys can be able to check that out. But uh, the I so I picked up the, I believe it's the officially light oatmeal heather is the official name by Essentials and Fear of God put out. But as you may know, Essence likes to put their own names on things. I don't know why they do that because it can be really confusing if this is your first time ever buying Fear of God. I know a lot of people will say, well, is this color the same as this color? I don't know why I'm apologizing for them because it's not something that I did, but yes, their colors that they have listed will uh, differ from what you may see on like Fear of God Leaks News or Fear of God's official page, but uh, you just kind of have to match them up what is similar. So um, I believe someone pointed this out on my, la my last video for the review. The gray is actually light oatmeal heather. I think I answered one of those questions wrong. I'm not 100% positive, but the gray is light oatmeal oatmeal heather. So I know that doesn't make sense. So um, what you guys are actually seeing in this video for the try on is the light oatmeal heather, which is also gray on uh, Essence. So I, I'm terribly sorry. I don't know why they, uh, they named it that just like their off white is considered their cream. So you all saw this one first, which is the cream or the off white <laughs> review. And then right now we're going to talk about the gray one. So I'm going to be honest with you. I get the gray sense of why Essence said that, 
but uh, Jerry likes to call it oatmeal heather. So if you're looking at the actual sizing though for the small or the medium now, the knit material is what makes these uh, fit a little bit bigger. They fit, they do fit larger, they're roomier, even with your standard fear of God sizing. So remember the recommendation is always, let's say you wear a standard medium, true to size and like a regular, I don't know, Nike, Adidas, whatever, normal men's uh, sweatshirt, I would say go down to a small then in fear of God, that would give you the intended oversized baggy look and it would still look really good on you and these i think staying true to your size is smart now i again went with a medium in the off-white or the cream and it fits me really really big but that's fine for layering under pieces or layer layering with leggings so you guys are able to see a side by side here of what the small and the medium looks like on me again of course the small is going to fit me a little better to give you guys just reference, I'm 5'6", 132. So hopefully that helps you out in terms of what this looks like on me. To give you an idea, um, I'm happy with both, to just be honest. Now with the small, of course, it's easier to layer under certain jackets than other ones. If I'm trying to layer that medium under anything, it has to be a much looser jacket. So I just have to be mindful of that based on whatever I'm trying to put together as a whole outfit. Uh, but I think this is an amazing piece for you to invest in. So just kind of, you know, pay attention to the color options that you're picking but otherwise you should be good to go so for the actual styling of this three different ways with three different pairs of shoes because i just wanted to show you guys that you don't have to go all fog you can integrate other pieces in your closet with this so one of the very first ones is actually um, a pair of olive green because of course like almost every pant <laughs> so you can see on your pant color is olive green but um olive green pants i believe these might actually be cargo pants from black taylor and then the van so the Vans don't ever get enough love. Uh, you actually can find these. I believe these are the old school caps. They may still be available on uh, Vans as their actual website. If not, um, I would say just check around. But I love this sneaker. It's a different take. Definitely has the deconstructed feel on it. So that is the very first look that you guys will be able to see here. And then with the second one, I actually did go more Fear of God based with the um, Fear of God. Now I have the gray sweatpants. I don't remember the exact shade of gray. I'm 100% honest with you. I don't remember the exact shade of gray but i have the gray sweatpants and then i also put on the nike fear of god raids and the light bone in the black colorway and then if you guys recall i definitely still have the lace swap in there that was intentional but very very cozy um lighter hues put together and then for the very last outfit you guys are able to see um went with the new balance and these are actually the richie lee 2.0 cargo pants in the gray colorway i believe gray it, i don't know if it was gray or stone might have been the actual name that richie gave for these but this is the 2.0 so these are actually the snap bottom cargos uh that came out last year maybe all these releases are starting to run together for me based on how i shot but uh these are the gray ones and i absolutely love it i think with this new balance the colorway that i have and remember this is the birthday shoe i picked up for myself i think it goes awesome together and nothing was really darker there were no darker tones in here it was just all really light and then you had to play with the olive pants but again you can style this with a number of different looks but also with a number of different kicks so that's what i love about um fear of god essentials actually it doesn't limit you to just one style or one branding of shoe because i'm just not somebody that cares to mix and match a lot of brands i've done it before i've done nike and new balance together before so i'm not 1000 percent opposed to it but i try my best not to do it uh as much as i can I checked out my Instagram. There are pictures already up of uh, outfits for the actual cream or as Essence likes to call it off-white uh, knit hoodie, but you guys will absolutely find pictures up for the light oatmeal heather. So always comment down below. What do you guys think of the fits, but also uh, are any of the colors on your radar to still get? So I might be able to still uh, to get the taupe in a medium. So it would be another oversized look. And again, I'm really happy about that to be able to get that. I'm still looking into also like other Nike and Fenelon leggings. They're one of those pieces where it pays to invest in them, ladies. So just if you're ever curious, because they are $90 and they were shown in the previous video, but it's very similar to you spending $100 on this knit hoodie. It's worth it in the long run. Very soft, very comfortable, like the most buttery leggings I've ever had on. Just so <laughs> ladies, just so you know. And then for the knit hoodies with the sizing, again, if you go true to your standard fear of God size, whatever size you normally get in fear of God tops, I would say still get that. Now, if you want a more tailored fit, go down down a size seriously go down a size you will feel more weight to it so it's going to fit heavier than the actual hoodies will but i don't think that's a bad thing at all i love it it's a knit piece i think it should be really warm and comfortable and worth 
all of the money you spend, which is $100 retail. Uh, continue to check back on Essence. Maybe they will restock. I, I've seen items still available on there. So you never know. All I do know is they have the best service ever in terms of shipping. You cannot go wrong shopping on there. And then in terms of Fear of God pieces that I have on the way, I still have that br uh, the brown hat in a size seven on the way. So as soon as I get that in, it'll be a quick unboxing. I don't think it'll be anything extensive. But also I was able to go back and find an older Fear of God Essentials crew neck with the essentials on the back that's in the 3m so i'm really excited about that or i think it's either white or 3m one of the two options but i'm excited to get that in as well i tried something a little bit different with the sizing so you guys will be able to see that when it arrives but yeah super late when i'm filming this it's almost 2 a.m when i'm done and then i have to edit everything but i really enjoy it and thank you guys again for tuning in to this video uh you already know i will be on the hunt for more fear of god pieces and as soon as i get them in i'll show you at your age not your shoe size peace out